All right, uh, the name of the new merged entity will remain Grasim, and that's the word coming in from Sushil Agarwal, who's the CEO of the company. In fact, CNBC TV 18 spoke to members of all different verticals in the Aditya Birla group, and they're all convinced that this was indeed the best time to unlock value. For uh, Grasim particularly, I think shareholders are getting into the growth businesses. That to me is a, is a biggest thing. In the process, they're also getting a, uh, listed company shares hmm. uh, of, of one of the fastest growing uh, space, which is financial services. Hmm. And I, as I was explaining, uh, the Grasim shareholder who owns 100 shares today, they'll continue to kind of hold uh, 100 shares. They'll also get 700 shares of financial services. To me, is, is, a, is a big uh, uh, benefit to the shareholders of the Grasim. What would be the name of the merged entity? Would there be a rebranding exercise that would be required? Uh, at this stage, uh, I don't have uh, any, any specific name, but uh, Grasim is what we are going to call. We are actually a fairly unique financial services business. We have a large number of businesses. We have 12 or 13 businesses underneath. And in each business, we build scale. And I don't think there's another business like that really available in the market. So we felt that this is a good time to actually look to unlock value and give a broader base of investors the ability to benefit from that. If I understand correctly, some funds will be used towards financial services and scaling that up. What verticals in particular would receive the benefit of this? So largely the verticals that require funding in the, in the current, uh, in our current network are uh, the NBFC, the housing finance company. Uh, both of these require, uh, require funding and our health insurance business. So these are the three verticals that yes. you'll be looking to scale up? Yes. Okay, so and uh, you said no listing plans for any of the separate verticals. Could that change uh, in, in the time that the merger is complete by the time next year happens? No, I don't think it's going to change in that time frame at all.